Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Anna, and I'm a random stranger on the internet talking to you about beauty. Okay, so today I want to talk about something a little bit different. I don't typically tend to talk a lot about new products on my channel, mainly because I don't wanna constantly promote buying and getting new things. Um, but there's, I, I noticed a like little teeny sliver of a uh, sub market that's come out and it kind of really interests me. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about it. And that is, for those of you who don't know, Chinese New Year is actually coming up this week. It is January 25th. I don't celebrate it personally, but for one, I really like when beauty brands acknowledge other holidays. I just like holiday gift sets in any fashion and I think they're great. Um, especially because Christmas just dominates everything in the beauty industry, right? So it's just kind of nice for me when they acknowledge other, other holidays. And two, I have to particularly admit a bias towards a lot of these products because they tend to use such beautiful red packaging and I I love it I love red packaging <laughs> I don't know what it is about it I just have a soft spot for it so yeah definitely a big fan but I just want to talk about a couple of products that I noticed I'm gonna be reading off my phone here okay all right, the first one is Fenty Beauty put out a dual mix, and I'm gonna kinda actually scoot over here so I can kinda pop pictures up here. Um, it's got the Kilowatt Highlighter in Mean Money and Hustla Baby, and then the Stena Lump Lip Paint in Uncensored. I think if you're interested in trying Fenty Beauty, this is probably a good little kit to get. The Again, the packaging is gorgeous. I think the highlighters are really lovely. The lip shade is bold. I mean, it is red, red, like red, red. So I dig that, but if you tend to be more conservative with your makeup, you probably would just be wasting your money. But if you're interested in trying them, I think, I think the packaging looks great. Um, Givenchy, Givenchy, I'm not saying that right, I know that. Um, they came out with a Chinese New Year Prism Lib Libre Finishing and Setting Powder. I think the packaging's gorgeous. Again, red and gold. Love it. It's color correcting, right? It's a color correcting powder. I don't personally care for it. I feel like that trend has come and gone. Um, not that people aren't still color correcting, but... I think people who are color correcting are kind of using their favorite products, like their holy grails at this point. I'm not really sure we need new products on board with that, but whatever, if it interests you, there you go. All right, SK2 did a really fun little riff on it, I think. So this year is the year of the rat, and they are releasing their limited interest Pieta Essence and so it's red and they put Mickey Mouse on it right which is undeniably the cutest of rats except maybe Ratatouille but it, it's iconic it's a fun spin on this um, I will not be buying it because it's $247 $247 and I'm a pregnant woman I'm spending money on ridiculous stuff right now and even I'm like no 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 however if this is a product you're already using I think the packaging is really cute and could be a fun riff I know people love their products I just that will come close to being my whole beauty budget for the year so I just cannot justify that um, or the complete opposite end of spending, uh, ColourPop, of course, ColourPopper, ColourPop, the mass manufacturing gods of the beauty industry. They have come out with a kit. Um, they've got a liquid lip bundle, uh, a super shock cheek duo, and a white tea face milk. Um, 
then you can purchase them all separately or all together. I'm pretty tempted by the uh, face milk. I'm actually going to be doing a video coming up pretty soon about skincare uh, and combating dry skin as you're pregnant because it's something I'm really struggling with right now. And I kind of just want to make a video about that. But I want to try that product first. And so maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But that's really the only one. I don't tend to care for their liquid lipsticks personally. Um, I've never tried their highlights or their blushes, but I am not buying any more highlighters or blushes. Like they take too long to go through. So no, thank you. Passing on that one. But if you are a ColourPop collector, it's out there and it's cute packaging, you know. The one I really, really, really am tempted to buy right now is actually by MAC Beauty. Now, MAC puts out a collection every year honoring Chinese New Year, which is awesome. They don't really stay, quote unquote, in the theme of the year. So nothing they have is honoring the year of the rat. It's kind of generic Chinese, you know what I mean? Um, but they've got, and I'll pop it over here, this highlight right here. I know it's not the year of the dragon. I just think that highlighter is so beautiful. I love the dragon print. I've really been interested in trying MAC highlights. So I'm pretty tempted to get that one. Oh, I just, like I said, $250 is probably my budget for the whole year and I have plenty of highlights. So it would be a completely frivolous purchase for me. So with baby coming, I probably won't buy it, but it has definitely caught my eye. I think it's really gorgeous. Um, they've also got a range of other products. They've got some lip colors. Now they don't, they're not doing anything um, new in their lip collection. They're all kind of classics within the MAC line. I think there's like a Ruby Woo and you know, a couple of others are their standards that they are just putting in new packaging. So if you want it just for the packaging, you might look into it. Otherwise, I don't, I don't really see the purpose I have. The colors that they put out in this packaging, I kind of already have in my collection. So I'm not really interested in buying duplicates just for the packaging. It doesn't draw me in that much. The highlight, of course, is tempting. There is an eyeshadow palette and a couple of other things that you might be interested in that, I, I mean, I think they're lovely. I just, it's really just the dragon highlight. Yeah. So anyway, if there are any products I've missed, I would love for you guys to share them down below. Any of these tempt you guys? I know, just me, right? All right, go into the world, guys. Be fabulous. Be you. Bye.